Hello Susan. Welcome to Paradigm Technologies. What was the reason for your visit? Hello Dr. Futura. Thank you for welcoming me. I am now in fifth grade at Lincoln Elementary School. The purpose of my visit was to find out what skills I needed in the future to be successful. Well Susan, let me try. First thing I need to tell you is that you are most likely getting prepared for a job that does not exist yet. What do you mean Dr. Futura? How can I prepare myself for something that does not exist yet? Things are changing fast in the 21st century. Many jobs are disappearing and new jobs are being created every day. My father had the same job his whole life. This is my third position. You will most likely have many jobs during your career. Wow. But, how do I prepare for something I do not know? There will be more and more demand for people with high-level skills in math, science, and technology. You must be able to use the basic skills in reading, writing, and mathematics to understand problems and provide creative solutions to those problems. I can read stories and write about them. And I can multiply. My math problems are hard. That's good, but how do you use math to solve real problems in life? Well, my teacher gives us many real problems in math. Like 63 times 147. Now, that's a hard problem in my life. I did not mean a problem from a school worksheet. I meant solving a problem in real life using math and being able to explain it in writing or in a presentation. No, I only solve math problems on worksheets and tests in school. Hmm. That will not prepare you for the future or doing your job. There are everyday tasks such as preparing and presenting budgets. Then, there are big problems that need solutions. Like, how to use new energy, reduce pollution, or create new technology. You will need to combine all your skills in reading, writing and math to accomplish these. Oh. Don't worry. You have time to prepare. There are seven basic survival skills you should have for the 21st century. Dr. Tony Wagner from Harvard University has interviewed hundreds of CEOs from businesses, nonprofits, and other institutions. He identified these seven survival skills for 21st century learners. Really? What are they? Number one. Be a critical thinker. Think out solutions to problems. That means solving real life problems. Okay, I need to think on my own. I need to challenge myself to come up with creative solutions. That is great. Secondly, you will need to work well with others. Be good at getting people to work as a team. I like cheering people on and working with others to accomplish a task. That's good too. Third. I said that you may have many jobs during your career. So, be flexible, expect changes, and make adjustments to those changes. I do not want to change. I don't like change at all. I like it when things stay the same. Well, to be successful, you will need to be able to adjust and change. The fourth skill. Be willing to take charge. Try out your ideas. Yes. But, sometimes I am shy. As you try new activities and gain confidence, you will be less shy. For the fifth survival skill, be able to communicate your ideas. Be good at speaking and writing. I like to talk about lots of stuff. I love to gossip about other people. That's not what I meant, Susan. Good speaking skills means to be able to clearly talk about complicated things to groups of people. Oh. The sixth survival skill is to be able to look at information and analyze it. Make conclusions and take action from this information. Huh? What do you mean? In real life? Well, this would be like you going shopping. You need to know how much money you can spend. You need to know the price of the item you want to buy. If the price changes, what do you do? You need to take that new information and make a decision. Should you buy it or not? I will buy it. It doesn't matter. I will buy it, because I want it. Then, the skill to be able to analyze data to make a good decision is something you still need to develop. Now, are you ready to hear the seventh survival skill? Yes. The seventh skill is to be curious and use your imagination. Learn new things, and explore. Imagination. Exploration. Hmm. I like these seven survival skills. 
Learning means so much more than just knowing about things. It's about being able to do something with the things I learn. I think you've got it. Learn how to read, write, and solve mathematical equations. Then practice applying those skills in real-life situations. Good job, Susan. I will not forget the seven survival skills. We heard at school that we will be moving from California standards to learning National Common Core standards. I believe that most of the skills we learn will be the same, but we will now have to use these skills to solve real-life problems. Just like you said. Thank you, Dr. Futura. You are welcome, Susan. I think these Common Core standards are a step in the right direction. I wish you luck at Lincoln Elementary School. Have a great year. And go Lincoln Lions. You too. Goodbye Dr. Futura. Goodbye.